We're honored today to have with us as a guest Robert Caro, the author of uh, many technical references and a drive specialist. And that's why we're talking to him about his book on variable frequency drives, the electrician's technical reference. So let's take a, a look at the book and ask Robert a few questions about his experience and background and why he wrote the book. So Robert, the first question we wanted to ask you about was what is your background and experience with variable frequency drives? Well, Dave, it dates back about 25 years. I, right out of school, I accepted a position with a robotics company, controls and robotics company. And they, they built a servo motion controller and uh, I was an application engineer for them, uh, going around the country, looking at machines, applying drives to these machines. And um, it was interesting because it was all new and it was pretty exciting. From there, I uh, moved on to work in medium voltage, high horsepower, variable frequency drives. And from that point on, I uh, worked in more applications and sales, some training with uh, general purpose AC and DC drives. So I've, I've spent a lot of time in the field, uh, made a lot of mistakes, tried to learn from those mistakes, and uh, I, I feel that that gives me um, a, a basis to, to put something down in writing that uh, can be useful to, to other people. Yeah, and, and when you look at this book, you can no doubt see that's the case, the, the way you've written this book. And that's, I guess, kind of leads into the next question. What really motivated you to, to put this material down on papers for the rest of us? Well, Dave, the, the driving force, no pun intended, was that uh, I was just frustrated trying to find answers to a lot of questions. You almost had to do your own research and, and find the answers uh, the hard way. This is before the internet, obviously. And there were no books out there. There were no books uh, on variable frequency drives. So the technology was just waiting for this book. And I had been in the field a lot uh, working with engineers, electricians, mechanics, uh, trying to, to make uh, drives work and apply them properly. And the same questions kept coming back. You know, what is a drive? What's a variable frequency drive? It was this mysterious black box that everybody wondered about but nobody knew anything about. So I sort of, by de facto, became uh, an answer person, you know, for this. And again, not being able to get uh, a book and give it to somebody or use it myself, I said, you know, the, the industry needs a book. And so I kind of embarked on taking the information that I had accumulated. I did some white papers, did some uh, presentations and seminars for various organizations. Uh, took all that compilation and uh, eventually put it into a manuscript form and found a publisher that believed that it was a necessary book to put out there too. Yeah, you know, from uh, my looking over this book and using it, I found that it's, a, it's an excellent reference, Robert, for, uh, for the av average person in the shop to use with great illustrations. And uh, certainly you've got some nicely organized topics here from basic uh, variable frequency drive, basic motor theory through simple troubleshooting techniques to more advanced troubleshooting techniques. So it's, it is a good reference and uh, I think anyone that, that uh, would get this book would find, definitely find it to be very advantageous. Now, just apart from the book, I did want to ask you a question about how you feel the drives have uh, changed over the years. Anything you've seen that's uh, been particularly uh, big changes in the drive world over the years that you've been involved with the industry? Well, I think the first half of the the drive life out there. So let's say that the drives were introduced in the 70s. Uh, I'd say for the first 20 years there were a lot of changes. You know, the semiconductors changed rapidly. Uh, the whole technology was just moving, you know, in a forward direction, changing real fast. Uh, not until we got into the the transistorized uh, design uh, in the drives did we start to really hone in on a on a platform topography, if you will, that would lend itself to uh, to being 
the most useful for you know, most applications. And uh, so early 90s, uh, transistorized drives kind of really took off. Uh, they became more efficient, smaller in design and package. The costs came down. So then they were being able to, uh, to apply them uh, in a lot more places. Uh, so today, uh, the technology, in my opinion, has probably not changed a whole lot uh, in theory of operation for the VFDs, but you're applying them in more and more instances. You know, basically, if there's an electric motor out there, you can put a VFD on it. And so more and more applications are, are being found. Uh, it's a multi-billion dollar industry in the United States now, and, and uh, I think more people are understanding, you know, how to use them and, and how to apply them. And, and I think for the foreseeable future, you're going to, you know, be affected by VFDs. Yeah, so what you see is a common, a common uh, method of, of controlling the motor across most uh, manufacturers. But the bells and whistles have gotten better. The advanced keypads, the USB connections, flash drive slots, and all those sort of things are the the areas where manufacturers are trying to stay on the leading edge from what you see. That's what I see. You know, they they want to be able to uh, sit at home, have a cup of coffee, and get on the internet and go change a drive's settings over in Idaho. You know, that's that's what they uh, that's what it's evolved to. So yeah, the bells and whistles are definitely the things that uh, we're, we're seeing out there as the differences you know, between the drive products today. But the hardware basically is, is uh, the same for most sectors. Well, that's interesting. Well, appreciate your opinions today. And uh, if anyone's interested in this excellent publication, the Variable Frequency Drive uh, electric Electrician's uh, Technical Reference Book, come visit our website and you'll find that uh, on the website just search for the book and you'll find it so thanks for watching us today and hope this has been informative for you